Hey Libra, whoops, this is Chronic Joy Tarot, and this is going to be your October 2017 Zen Tarot reading. I appreciate everyone here. Thank you so much for staying with my channel and the new subscribers, welcome. You'll find this is sort of a, a journey that can be specific and can be, um, it can pertain to you on any given day so even if this is you know may when you're watching this october video it will be the perfect time for you to focus on that aspect of yourself it's a spiritual journey it never ends and we are in it together if you'd like a more personal reading remember this is very general but if you want one that's more personal um, get in touch with me on the about section of my channel the oracle card that I pulled to guide us through this reading this month is from this deck, the Chakra Wisdom. I love it. It's based, it's got seven sections, obviously, for the seven chakras, and each section has seven cards. The card that I pulled for you is a heart chakra card, and it's grief. So we all experience grief. It's part of the human experience. Um, if we weren't with such a great capacity to love, we would never feel grief. But we do love, and um, we use our hearts to share and connect with others. And so when that connection is broken, um, when we experience loss, we experience grief. But what this card is guiding is it's trying, the message is every, you know, bit of the pain that we must go through it's worth it because of the love that preceded it and the love that will come again right so this is a matter of honoring any pain you might be in any pain residual pain you might be feeling if it's current and acute and strong this is a perfect time for you to watch this reading um, if it's a past sort of a more numb dull achy pain that maybe you've tucked away and pushed down and not really um, fully honored and released, then this is another perfect time for you um, to watch this reading. We want to know sort of, um, you know, if, like I said, if you didn't have the depth of, of the, the capacity to care and love deeply, then you'll never experience this, this feeling. But it is okay. It is a natural feeling whatever you reveal you know from within that pain that you allow out you can heal it so what you reveal you can heal um give yourself time you know you'll love again and honor your pain because that will change your life it will change your life hiding from it and running from it and tucking it away it only harms your own heart okay so I'm hoping that not all of you are in a deep sense of grief right now, although there have been some things on the planet recently that definitely has it's really hurt my own heart, and I'm sure we're all feeling it. If this is more of a personal situation in your life, it could be a, a past, very, you know, way in the past. I have things in my past that I haven't fully healed. Um, and so let's just focus on that, on how to work through and heal our pain and grief. So where you start out is oh, the perfect card for this reading is the card of courage. Okay, perfect. So this talks about the little seed that is buried deep within these boulders. And for all it knows, it could just stay a seed. It doesn't ever need to shift it has no idea it could potentially bloom into a lovely flower. It doesn't even know. It stays protected in its hard covering. It, it hides deep down in the dark parts of the rocks and it could stay there forever. But then a little water trickles in and, and other, you know, like in your real life, other people come along and touch your heart and, and other people come and, and um, give you experiences that, that touch you deeply. And your heart softens and that hard shell begins to soften and then you see a little sunlight and you start to sort of reach toward something that feels warm and and fuzzy for your heart and before you know it you're in another you're transformed you're in another phase you've, you've bloomed you've blossomed and 
that deep, dark, hard, covered shell way beneath the rocks that you used to be, either the shell that you've built around your heart, you feel like oh, that pain that I was in was worth it because look where I am now. This is exactly what I just, I love how the cards just support my blabbering. <laughs> okay. Um, so this is where you are, or this is where you're about to be, or this is the awareness that you are um, being asked by spirit to tap into at this time, okay? That the potential for transformation is always there. The potential for more and a richer sense of living and a, and a more um, beautiful, enjoyable reach, you know, deep, high, wide experience is waiting for you, okay? The first card um, depicting your internal sort of hidden energy that's going on within you is this card called the outsider. So you may have a sense if you're, when we're talking about this source of grief that we first talked about, you may have a sense that nobody gets it. Nobody, if you t tried to let it out and um, connect with others on it or even let it out for yourself, it would not be a good idea. You're, you're feeling set apart from a space you would rather be in, right? You're feeling like you're locked out from that, that space of feeling good. And if you let that pain out, you're gonna be even farther away from a good feeling place, right? Which is not true at all. So if you look at this little boy looking and longing to be on the other side of that gate where the rainbow world is, the, the lock, on the chain is not even engaged. So all he really needs to do is find that courage to just open the gate and step toward it, right? Open up your heart and, and let some of that pain out, okay? In your external world, the first um, card we have here, oh, love, it's perfect. You, it's, a, it's the completion card. So this is denoting the end of a phase it could be the end of this deep grief phase for you that you're heading toward, or it could be the end of your old way of processing that grief and that you're finding new ways and you've completed that cycle and you're moving on to, to new, um, you know, more intuitive based experiences. Because if you look at the puzzle piece here, that's being placed where the third eye belongs. So that's where your intuition is and your learning more and more, Libra, to rely on your intuition, rely on yourself. You know, don't, don't, and that, that courage card, these, are, these go hand in hand, this is perfect. You're really, you're really doing a beautiful job and either, yes, you're moving past a, a specific scenario where you experienced a lot of grief and you're, you're going to find a way to let your heart soften again and open it up to love. Or, like I said, you're at the end of a phase of handling your pain a certain way and you're creating new ways to face it and handle it and honor, honor your pain. Everything you feel, all of your emotions should be honored because they all make up exactly who you are. The next internal energy here is past lives. So this is talking about patterns patterns in your life that you've repeated over and over and this isn't an it's in an internal position here so this could be patterns that go on within you that maybe others aren't even aware of thought processes you know thought reactions to certain situations that if you start to become more aware of the patterns you can break them, which is a perfect time because a cycle is finishing right here, as according to this card. The next external energy is the card called Experiencing. It's a lovely card. This is just sort of allowing life to be exactly as it is right now. Just allowing for it. Um, that's where, um, you know, dealing with our pain this this kind of an energy of, of a true experiencing of it really helps because um, like I said if you just allow the pain and the grief to be there um, as part of your curriculum of of emotions it will it will dissipate it will move on your heart is a powerful powerful thing and it will continue to heal itself 
You'll, it'll break open and it will heal again. It will break open, it will create more space for love and it will heal again. It's um, a beautiful thing, but allowing yourself every moment um, and deeply being in every moment as you're processing this is important. The final internal energy. This is a mental card. This is something that maybe within you, you're telling yourself, um, you know, should I, shouldn't I, um, you know, I, I'm ready to forgive. No, I'm not ready to forgive. Um, the mental energies might be clogging your progress. And just be aware of them. Like I said, the experiencing card came right before it. Just be aware of them and talk to yourself and love yourself and know that, oh yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of judging my progress or I'm telling myself I'm not good enough or I'm not moving fast enough or, or I should never let that pain out. Just observe what your mind and the thoughts, um, the things that arise and, and what they do because our thoughts, you know, you can direct your thoughts however you want. You're completely in charge of what you think and how you show up in your life. A lot of times, habitual thoughts keep us stuck. And like I said, you're, at a, you're in a cycle of completion. You're ready to move to a new way of processing. So be aware of what your thoughts tell you and then guide them gently, you know, in a new direction. Okay? You are in for a breakthrough. Look at that, Libra. Big time. Big breakthrough. This is um, the third chakra. This is your space of self-empowerment, of, you know, of how you connect to um, yourself and in the world and, and, you know, how you express yourself as a being. Um, big time. You're, 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 you're heading toward or you just have come through a big shift in the way you do things. And it could be that this whole journey is, is totally familiar as far as maybe you had pain a year ago and you've learned how to work through it. You've found the courage to soften your heart. You realized, you know, you're in charge of it. You don't want to have the same patterns. You know, maybe this is you now or it's coming very shortly, okay? Um, and then if it hasn't come, Please be patient with yourself. Just know that the cycles of life and the way life rolls is continual. It's continual. You don't, you know, race to a stop and then arrive somewhere and then you're done, right? It's continual. Have patience with yourself. Have patience with your heart and allow for everything that you're experiencing to be a part of your awareness at this time, okay? Okay, Libra, I sure hope this helped and um, that it connected for you guys. If it didn't, be sure to check your other, you know, your moon and rising sign. And until the middle of October, I will talk to you soon. Thank you.